Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Modern Skyrim Session 30. Um, before, I said last time we were going to jump back into Morrowind, but before we're going to do that, I have a few things on just a little checklist, shopping list thing I need to figure out first. Uh, the first one is, well, you guys see the new armor, so we got that going. Um, the next thing I need to do is go get our Master Exploder Shout, because I got it for the video, but then it's like I didn't save that because I didn't want to keep the bounty and everything, so I'm going to go get that. Um, I figure we'll bring a companion with us, and it's probably going to be Java Do from just inside the base that I just left. So he'll probably come with us, and I'll probably send Saran on another quest. Oh, I need to collect what she got from that. Um, uh, Lydia's out, because she won't wear clothes around the base, so I kicked her out of the guild. Sorry, everyone. I feel bad, but oh well. Okay, where am I going? I need to go to High Hrothgar. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go see what I can do about getting a little bit of stuff for Javado. He's got ebony armor, and I'm feeling like the new armor I'm going to get him is going to downgrade him, but he's going to look so much cooler. So I think I'll do that, and I will cut back when we're done with that. And your shield. Finally! Through the help of console commands, doing a lot of research and a lot of everything, Honor to you, my Talizor of us, Lydia, is now back and wearing clothing. The right clothing. And she's not going to unequip this stuff. So, you're welcome back to join the guild if you keep your clothes on. Of course. Then why don't you go ahead and head back to headquarters. If you forgot where it is, here it is on your map. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. I better be. Alright. Next stop, back to base. Okay, all those chores are done, hopefully. Oh, Vitraiser's playing Oblivion. What a good guy. Anyway, let's go over everyone that is now part of this group of ours that we still haven't named yet. We have Talizora Vos Lydia, who's now wearing her clothes. Honor to you, my Thane. Great. Mm -hmm. This guy. This is Brenuin. I ain't done nothing. He is sure. gonna go on a grand old adventure with us to Morrowind. I already got armor for him and everything. I figured, wouldn't it be great if I just took a beggar, gave him all sorts of cool stuff, and then made him a companion? So I'm gonna try that. That ought to be fun. Uh, we got Serana. This, I have not introduced him yet on the show, I don't think, is Daglin. He's from a mod that basically he lives in a cave and you give him dragon souls and he gives you perk points or gold or something like what that. Do you need? And he's supposed to be living in his cave, but when I got this mod and I found out that, hey, he can just chill in my base so I never have to Until go all the way out to his cave to do that, then I figured, why not? Uh, excuse me, Serana. Yes. Could you move? Uh, could you? Could you? Could you? Uh, what the? Yes? I thought I turned off collision. Whatever. Okay. Just trying to end up moving anyway. And then we have Javado, who likes to cook, apparently. The sands are cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. Mm -hmm. You are right by the fire. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, besides that, I went through a few... Or, I killed a dragon first off while we were gone as well. Because it was outside my house. I don't know if the skeleton's still there. Um, then I went into a... Dwarven ruin, just the, just the exit, and I grabbed some metal pieces so I can make some Dwemer stuff, so I could start making Dwarven headgear and Dwarven backpacks, one of the new mods I just downloaded. It adds all sorts of cool new Dwarven stuff, uh, headgears and backpacks that are all animated, and they all look really, really awesome. So if I take off my, um, if I take off my helmet here for a second, I'll show you one of them, and then I'm gonna give a full set to, uh, uh, our companion buddy, and we'll see him, and we'll see what he, uh, and you, you'll get to see what that looks like. So let me take off my current helmet, 
and put on dwarven headgear number one. And this should just give you an example. Uh, there we go. So yeah, yeah, this does that not look really freaking awesome? <laughs> I don't think it provides any armor, but it does provide no, it doesn't because it's considered jewelry. But it does provide uh, some really nice enchantment bonuses. So this one does bows do 40% more damage. So I'd actually like to keep that. And if I put it on this, it looks like some kind of headband. Some kind of glowing headband. And it just looks cool. It clips a little with this helmet, but I'm going to be cool with it. It glows. It's cool enough for me. So anyway. Uh, oh. What the? Why am I walking? That was weird. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and give this set to Brenuin. I ain't done nothing. Uh, I have something to tell you. So. I need you to... Let me give you some things. I'm going to give you a lot of things. Ethereum backpack, legs left and right, and then I'm going to give you a set of dwarven armor. And no, you're not going to equip it? Well then, let me make you. This is going to be a lot of coding. I'll just cut it. And equip item... Seven four zero zero nine four two five one and Baboom Brenuin turns into a great dwarven master. Check this out. Look at this backpack. This is called this is the Ethereum animated uh, of the animated backpacks, and oh my Jeebus, it looks beautiful. And it just keeps doing that. It just keeps opening up making whole bunches of lights. I thought this would be really cool to have a companion that had this backpack, so he's going to keep it. Renewin, how do you feel? What? Why are you looking at me? Because you got all this new armor. You look awesome. Oh, I never gave you a sword, did I? Sure, whatever. I need some kind of sword. What kind of swords do I get in here? The Fork of Horriblation. Nah. Let me give you a cool sword. Do I have a cool sword that you can use? Uh, not the Blood Skull Blade. What kind of sword do you feel like using, Bruin? I don't even know if you can die or not. You might be a bad companion to bring. Yeah, you got armor. I think you ought to be good. Maybe you want to use Shiogorth's razor. Or... Ooh! That's what we'll do. You can have a lightsaber. It'll match you perfectly. Bruin. That Heimsker's crazy. Him and his talk attack. It would seem so. I understand. Uh, let me give you some things. And by some things, I mean one thing. And I trust you. This is a lightsaber. Use it very well. Let me just make sure you equip it. By testing you in combat. Let's do this. Let me draw my weapon. Fight me. What are you doing? Oh, God. Yes, they deserved it. Oh god, he dies. A waste. That is a waste. I'll have to make sure to pick all that stuff off his body when he dies. Alright. I hmm. wonder if we can set your health to be higher. Well, I'm just going to have to assume that you won't totally suck. And if you die, I don't know if there's any way we can resurrect you, but... You know what? You'll go as far as you can, and then I'll recruit someone else. And they'll be the new you, Brenuin. So don't grow on me. Anyway. Let's see. Don't have anything else in here I could use. So. Skullhorned helmet. Mm, nah. Okay. Brenuin. After I give this soul yes. to Daglin and demonstrate how this mod works, I have dragon souls for you. Let me just confirm that though, because I don't want to waste I... time. I have... Yes, I have one dragon soul. Do I want to spend it on any of these though? Nah, I'd rather That's get a time. perk point. What do you need? Um, I have... No, I have dragon souls That's for you. That's what I like to hear. I know. So you can trade them for gold, uh... And enchantment points, or you can enhance your attributes, which I usually just do the perk points. I think that's a fair trade. A thousand gold, 
Nah. Enhanced attributes. Nah. I'd rather just get a point. Very well. It even has the animation of him getting your dragon soul. Which is cool. And now I have a perk point. Where do I want to put it? Um. Two-handed weapons do 60% more damage. Ooh. 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 I don't know. Uh, <coughs> mm. Alright. Um, let's put it in that good old... Let's see what archery has got going for it right now. I will do that. That sounds good. All right, Javado, you're in charge while I'm gone. Make sure everything goes well. Yes. Until next time. Okay, Serana. Do you need something? Yeah, you should probably go on a job or something. Um. Why don't you um. Uh, why don't you go steal some shiny things? Yeah, go ahead. While I'm gone. I'll be back, and you can uh, return to me with what you found. Hey, Daglin. Yes? Um, I have a job for you. Actually, I might as well send them all on jobs. I have a job for you. Uh, probably you should go kill some dragons. Yep. Go kill some dragons. It is now level one. Okay. Javado. This one needs something? Yeah, I might as well it put you on the so. so I have a job for you. Um Go do some good deeds. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Yeah, I understand. Bye, Javado. And now, Lydia. I am your sword and your shield. I have something to tell you. Do you have a job? So. I have a job for you. Why don't you go hunting and bring back the pelts and meat? No, I changed my mind. Go collect and fill soul gems. Gold solves most problems. Yeah, sure. I understand. Alright. Renuin. I ain't done nothing. I have something to tell you. It would seem so. Follow me. Of course. To adventure! Sure, whatever. All right, it's now time to make our way to Morwin. Oh yeah, something else I did while we were gone, or while I was gone, not that screen. I went and collected the Master Exploder Shout. I don't know if I already said this, but there it is. So we're going to be using it. If you haven't seen how it works, I'm going to probably use it once we get in combat, or once we find, or if you uh, go to my, it's somewhere else on my channel. It is a, uh, it's a video of how the mod works. So, yeah. Alright, back to Solsheim. Brenuin's at our side. Our unstoppable companion. And by unstoppable, I mean I dropped him in three hits, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Mm. We are now appropriate level. I say we do this. We will be ready. And we will stop anything that gets in our way, including loading screens. Take this loading screen. Here. If you're Aha. For passage, talk to Captain Gallo. Renuin. Talk to Captain Gallo. Let's go. We have places to be. Ah, back to Morrowind. What a good feeling. Now, it's on my list of things to do in Morrowind. Ah, that's right. We have to go examine a temple. Brennan, are you feeling up to that? My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Yeah, we will later. Sure, whatever. All right, who are you? I can't believe you found a way to reopen the mines. I don't know how to thank you. Uh, no problem. I don't remember when I did that. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for everything. Of course. What about this guy? Find my pickaxe yet? 
Uh, not yet. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that guy. I can't believe Ravenrock Mine is open again. Finally, something worth defending. Wrenching edge. That sounds like a good like tavern or something. See if we can't pick up side quests in here. Also, for those of you wondering, I'm drinking Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You got a problem, you talk to him. Because I'm pretty sure Mogul they were doesn't lend coin to outlanders. They were pretty Look almost else. done with their special where it's gonna be sold I'll in give cans you this and bottles and once. stuff. Stay out of my way, and we'll you be looking for fine. trouble. Teldrin Cerro, blade for hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Oh, I like you. We might talk later. Swordsman and old Morrowind is at your service. Uh, for the right price. It's not for me. Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. Alright, I'm gonna go look for Geldis. What did he say? He said he'll meet you where you met for the first time. He said you'd know what it means. I do. Thank you. Hmm. Excuse me. Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club. Home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. I don't know what you did in those The mines open, people are buying things. drinks, and I'm making money again. So Just like old times. Um, you don't have anything about rumors. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ice storm might be brewing. Don't be put off by my husband's mood. He enjoys mm, having visitors. No. The mines He's are got the quests. If you're looking to purchase something, speak to my father, Fethis. Your contribution, Vendel Severin. Ah, pleasure to meet you, Sir. Excuse me. You know Always anything about Merak? Do I? I was going to say no, but somehow I feel like I do. Does that make any sense? She's somewhere here in Raven Rock. No, I'm sure of that. And yet, I think I had a dream of a temple, and he was there. Okay. Pleasant journey, Samuel. Alright, well, it looks like this place isn't gonna have any side quests for me. I guess I already did the one side quest here. So I guess we're gonna go to the temple. Now, how do I get there from here? It's on the other side of the island, right? Pretty much. The Temple of Marak. Alright. We will head out of town this way. Wait. Oh, yeah, you it's sell things. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. Sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. What's an East Empire pendant? It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one Recording, point. right? A kind yep. of reward for... That's They're good. no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get... Can you work they could you find be them? anywhere on the island. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, Bring them here. Okay. And I'll pay you for them. I will do that. Um. What exa uh, What do you got for sale? Everything I've got on display, really. All right. Let's see what that kind of stuff is. Chitin heavy gauntlets, dwarven arrows, ebony, emperor parasol moss. Interesting. You've got some nice, interesting items here. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Where were you when the dragon broke? Never knew that. Can I interest you in these amethysts? You know, like, uh, like, let's say, 15 of them. Thanks. Mm, and then I will also sell to you, just because it's you, and I like you. Uh, um, I don't know what you like. I don't know what I want to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of these. Yeah, I'll get rid of, like. No, I don't. They're Daedra Hearts. I don't want to get rid of those. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy, though. Let me get rid of seven. Gosh, these are expensive. That's good. Um. A few flawless amethysts, like, I'd say seven. And. I'd say. fifteen. Garnets. And we're good here. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone unturned. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. I didn't want to go in Raven Rock Mine. I thought that was the city gate. Darn it. Darn it. Can I leave here?